All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So I just want everybody to know, eyes on the road. I'm focusing on what I'm doing. Nobody's ahead of me. No one's actually on the interstate these days. It's really cool. All right, so fake news. And I'm not talking about the mainstream media. I am talking about YouTube information. I'm talking about companies or organizations that we as YouTubers might get our information from. Uh, a viewer of my channel, really cool guy, uh, sent me an email with a question. Man, he, he says, have you heard of this? You should, you know, have look into it, that kind of thing. And so I, what I did was I opened the email and it was a PDF and it was a letter from Rand Paul addressed to the people. And it was, uh, subject was based on the NATO Firearms Treaty Act or whatever it was. You know, the thing where the NATO wants to come in here and take control of all of our guns, which will never, ever happen. And guys, this thing's been around for a long, long time. So it was interesting to me that I read the letter. An organization, uh, National Organization, Association of Firearms Rights, whatever it was, guy put it out. And the, uh, reading into the letter, and I'm, I'm going to get to the, the, the basis of this video here in a few minutes, I, I, so here's the back, the back story. I used to work as a contractor for the U.S. government. Uh, I've worked for a lot of organizations and a lot of uh, people in the government. All the way from, say, a congressman, senator, uh, directors, that kind of thing. And when they send out a memorandum, uh, a memo, an email, a letter, let me tell you what the common thing is on that letter. There is a date. There's a date. No one signs their name to a document without a date on it. I don't care what it is. Every document has a date and a signature. I send an email out and the email file has a date on it. Okay? So the interesting part about this uh, memo or memorandum or letter that Rand Paul supposedly signed, and he may have signed something similar to that in the past but this one was dated or had a not even a date on it, it was just kind of said Tuesday morning which was really interesting so it first thing it led me to believe was yeah um, what Tuesday morning how Tuesday morning how's it going Tuesday morning and you know as a youtuber and other youtubers we have a responsibility to vet this information because the same organization sent out some other information about a couple weeks ago and a couple YouTubers jumped on it and it was not true. It was not factual. Uh, and, and the problem is, is when people do this, they, they don't, they're not doing themselves any justice and you're definitely not doing the viewers any justice by pushing this kind of, kind of information which is false. Okay? Man, that is a good looking truck. Not a big fan of... Uh, Chevy's, but that's a that's a real good looking vehicle right there. Z71 LTZ Silverado. So anywho, uh, so I actually called a good friend of mine, Jared, over there at Guns and Gadgets, and I, you know, I said, man, have you heard anything about this? He goes, no, but he told me a little bit about a background of where this stuff comes from, and I just wanted to tell you guys, uh, if you see this letter running around that it says Tuesday morning. And the memorandum was dated Tuesday morning. Just be careful. And if you're a YouTuber, please don't go throwing this kind of information around because it's not true. Now, I'm not saying that this NATO Firearms Treaty Act is not true because it was several years ago uh, that somebody was trying to throw that shit around. Now, imagine what would happen if somebody signed a document letting the NATO come in here and say, we're going to confiscate your guns. And that's when the story, by the way, which is not true, it's a fable, behind every blade of grass is a gun. I mean, well, yeah, behind every blade of grass in the United States, there is a gun, but um, Yamamoto, or <laughs> actually never really say, said that. It was kind of one of those things, that, that's it. Well, anyway, guys, that's what I wanted to convey to you. If you're a YouTuber, vet the information. Don't be trying to be the first person that jumps out there and throws this stuff out, okay? Because if you see a document, and the first thing that jumped out at me was Tuesday morning. Dated Tuesday morning. Next Tuesday? Last Tuesday? Tuesday three or four years ago? But it was Tuesday morning. And the bad part about it is it's got Ron Paul's signature, at least what is supposed to be Ron Paul. Rand Paul. Rand Paul. Hell, it might be Ron Paul. I don't know. It's old. 
Rand Paul's signature on that thing. So my arm's getting really tired, as you can see, I'm driving, and my eyes are focused on the road. I'm not, uh, by the way, my car pretty much drives itself. So with that being said, uh, there's fake news all around us. When you see some information, vet it. Don't believe the first thing you see when somebody sends it to you. They might just be trying to get you to send them money. So anyway, with that being said, guys, always end it like this. Uh, God bless America. God bless us men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free, and our Constitution is written. It means what it means. That's it. It's, it's written as it is written. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all be good. Have a great weekend.